In this episode, shooting portraits with natural light. Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Exploring Photography right here on Adorama TV. I'm Mark Wallace in Paris, France, joined by Mava. She is one of the most spectacular models in all of France. And one of the fun things about Mava is that she doesn't speak any English. But that's my fault. I should be speaking French because we're in Paris. So we're going to have to work this out. It's going to be really, really fun. Well, the cool thing is I am in a little apartment hotel and I love these windows that are on this side of the wall. They let in really nice soft light because they're glazed windows. So what we're going to do is we're going to shoot with Mava and we're going to try to do some black and white and maybe some color photos with really shallow depth of field. So Mava, we're going to have you come right back here to this chair. A couple of challenges that we're going to face with these windows is that we have totally natural light. And so what we need to do is we need to react to that light and I need to do that and I'm going to try to shoot handheld because I would really want to get in here and get close and get some really interactive shots. So to do that, I'm going to have to watch the settings on my camera because it's not a lot of light coming in. So the first thing I'm going to do is set my ISO to ISO 400. I might have to take that up or down depending on how much light is coming through the windows because I want to keep my shutter speed to around between 60 and 125th of a second. If I can keep it to 125th, that's better because then I won't get camera shake. Now to accomplish that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot with my aperture wide open at 1.4. This is a 50 millimeter lens. I'm doing that for two reasons. One, because we don't have a lot of light. And secondly, because Mava's eyes are gorgeous. And what I want to do is make sure that they're tack sharp, but let everything else fall out of focus. That will give us a much more pleasing uh, photograph. So without further ado, we're going to start shooting with the light coming in through these windows. And I'll show you exactly what we get. One of the things we really have to pay attention to is the direction of light. It's coming from the windows this way. And so I'm going to make sure that Mava is always looking toward the windows so that we can have her light or her eyes light up and get really nice specular highlights. Now what we might do a little bit later on is have her turn around this way so we have the highlight on this side of her face and let her face actually fall into shadow so we get sort of highlight on her cheek. But we'll play with that. And so I'm going to take two shots, one with her toward the window and one with her looking away so you can see the difference. Beautiful. Hold that right there. Let's turn you around this way so you're looking away from the... yeah. So this shot, we have Mava looking just a little bit away and sort of straight forward, but we still get really amazing light coming across her face. In fact, let me shoot this and show you exactly what it looks like because all the uh, reflections in the room, the walls, the bed, all the sheets, all that kind of stuff really makes her eyes sparkle. So let me shoot a few of these because I love it. Look right at me, beautiful. to kneel down here to make this work. But one of the things I want to do here is, even though I'm shooting with the 50 millimeter lens, what I really want to do is get in nice and tight, but I'm fighting that urge because if I get too close, even with the 50 millimeter lens, it's going to distort her face. And so I'm going to come back a little ways, shoot these shots, and then crop in post-production because I want to make sure her face looks nice and natural. So I'm on my knees back here and we'll shoot a few more. So maybe look right at me. all there is to it. Remember to make sure you keep an eye on your ISO to make sure that your shutter speed doesn't fall below 60th of a second when you're shooting handheld. If you can get your shutter speed a little bit faster, that's even better because you want your model's eyes to look 
attack sharp. So make sure you pay attention to what's going on so you can make adjustments as the ambient light changes. Also, get a fantastic model like Mava. She is spectacular and she knows a little bit more English than she lets on, so she's a smarty pants. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Exploring Photography. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the subscribe button right now. And also, follow me on Instagram where you can see all the outtakes and extras that don't make it in the video. Thanks again for joining me. I'll see you again next time.